The image of a fierce Viking warrior donning a horned helmet is deeply ingrained in popular culture. This iconic symbol has become synonymous with the Viking Age, representing strength, ferocity, and the spirit of Norse seafarers. However, this widely accepted image is a historical inaccuracy, a misconception that has been perpetuated through centuries. The misconception is simple, yet powerful. Viking warriors during the Viking Age, which was approximately 793 to 1066 CE, wore helmets adorned with large, intimidating horns. This image suggests a barbaric, wild culture and has been featured extensively in art, literature, and media. The horned helmet has become a symbol not just of the Vikings, but of ancient warrior cultures in general. The horned helmet is featured in numerous artistic and entertainment mediums. In art, 19th century romanticism heavily influenced the depiction of Vikings, often portraying them as noble savages with horned helmets. In literature and opera, Richard Wagner's opera cycle Der Ring des Nibelungen famously features characters in horned helmets, cementing the image in public consciousness. In movies and television, countless films and TV shows depict Vikings with horned helmets, further popularizing the misconception. The horned helmet motif is also commonly used in sports team logos and mascots, particularly in teams with a warrior or Norse theme. In fact, only a handful of Viking helmets have ever been found, none of which have horns. The most famous, the German Boo helmet, discovered in Norway, is hornless and represents typical Viking helmet design. Horns on helmets would be impractical in battle, likely to be cumbersome and a hindrance in close combat. Art from the Viking Age, including carvings and statues, shows no evidence of horned helmets. Instead, warriors are depicted with simple, functional headgear. The misconception likely originated in the 19th century, a time when European interest in folklore and history was growing. Romantic artists aiming to create dramatic and evocative images might have added horns to helmets for artistic effect. Richard Wagner's operas played a significant role in popularizing the horned helmet. His use of such imagery in theatrical productions left a lasting impression on the audience's perception of Viking culture. One reason for the persistence of the misconception is the power of visual imagery. The striking visual of a horned helmet is more memorable and dramatic than a historically accurate depiction. It makes the misconception more appealing for artists, filmmakers, and other content creators. A further reason for the persistence of the misconception is the fact that the horned helmet simplifies the complex Viking culture into a single, easily recognizable symbol. This simplification aids in storytelling and brand creation. A final reason for the persistence of the misconception is a general lack of detailed public knowledge about Viking culture that allows the misconception to flourish. Without widespread understanding of Viking history, the misconception goes unchallenged. In conclusion, The misconception of the Viking wearing a horned helmet is a fascinating example of how historical inaccuracies can become deeply rooted in popular culture. Despite its inaccuracy, the image endures, demonstrating the power of misconception and the appeal of visually striking yet historically unfounded symbols. The true Viking helmet, practical and hornless, may lack the dramatic flair of its mythical counterpart, but it offers a more realistic glimpse into the lives of these renowned seafarers.